Did you know there's a never type in Rust? A type that essentially means it's a never, it will never happen. The default for functions, if you don't specify a return type, there's always a return type. In Rust, it's always a null, right? And a null is represented by parentheses. And if we look over here, we see that there is a never type, which essentially means that the function will never return. They call them divergent functions. The never type, which is an explanation point, is a type with no values representing the result of computations that never completes. So it'll never return, which means that it can never go back to the users wherever it just stops. It's like, okay, we're done now. It's a never type. It will never happen. The never type can only appear in a function that returns uh, the type presently indicating it is a divergent function and it never returns. And when, it's, when it means it never returns, it really means it never returns. You're gonna go into that function and you won't come back. Function foo, open parens for the parameters, and then the return type is never. It never returns. And I suppose the way that they're doing this is through a panic, and in this case, the panic will print out a statement and say it never it was it gonna run I don't know if the example oh no it just I'd expect to see some oh this is just the function definition we're not actually executing that okay so if we look at our example here really quick we've got our own diverge function that we've defined here which panics to nothing We've got a return type, which is never, right? It's never going to return. It's never going to give you anything back. Then we also have a nothing type, right? Which is going to re return a default type, which is identical to this statement here with an imp uh, the parentheses, right? So these, this is identical. It's the exact same type. And it's the default type as this. So like these, those two representations are identical. And if we print this, if we print nothing, it's going to return null, essentially the Rust null, right? But if we want to diverge, we'll run the divergent function and then it will panic and it throws a panic symbol. I don't know what you'd use this for. <laughs> what, is your, what would you do? Why would you want this? I could maybe see a couple of examples where you'd want to say, hey, I'm not done with this code yet. And I want to make sure that we know that this code is not done. So we'll diverge here, which is essentially the stopping point, And then we'll say, we're done, we're done for now. And then we need to pick back up where we left off. There's a few others, like sort of like an infinite loop where you go into a serve mode where you want code to execute in uh, sort of an infinite loop and you intend it to be an infinite loop. So you're an event driven application. I could see where you say start loop and then the loop will not allow you to go below it, right? Because you've entered into an infinite loop. And so all the code needs to execute it within the divergent function. So those are two examples that would probably work. I think those are probably fine scenarios. You don't need to do that. <laughs> I don't think it's required. That's not a mandatory thing.